Today on the Gorilla Channel, Big Brother's cracking down, YouTube is deleting truther channels, and this is a real channel, in my opinion. And not saying that you have to agree with everything, not going to be everybody's cup of tea, but when I think of, like, truther conspiracy channels that I like, that I watch, that, that really woke me up, which, how do you... It's hard to put put a price on that kind of thing. Somebody who really made me look at the world differently. And like when when you think of conspiracy channel, and this is exactly why the CIA does these stupid mind games and coming up with terms and putting up their puppets. When you think conspiracy channel, you think of stupid like reptilian channels that's that do a bunch of videos about reptilians and just churn out the dumbest stuff. What they're really afraid are channels like Jungle Surfer that just really go into the news, talk about the, the silly number coding, talk about the the women with the faraway eyes, and yeah, he was one of the first talking about NASA in a really uh, just level-headed way, talking about how, how nonsensical the outer space was, and yeah, really, really sad to see his channel not on YouTube anymore. It seems like he doesn't want to do YouTube anymore. I totally understand that. And, but he's on BitChute. So, I mean, most of what this, this video is about, hey, I've been giving shout outs to Jungle Surfer. I still appreciate his work. I think that he's special in the community because he does talk about tea drinking, faraway eyes, and news stuff. Very rare to see people combine those things. And that, that's part of why I think that that he was not liked by whoever makes these decisions. Not available anymore. He is on BitChute, though. So this is a shout-out to his BitChute. I guess he's going to keep making videos there. That's cool. And, but, and I do understand why he doesn't want to mess with YouTube anymore. I mean, <clears throat> this takes me back. This isn't my first channel. I've had a lot of channels. And YouTube goes through... They go through phases. They don't constantly have really strict and like deleting a bunch of channels. It seems like they do it in in mass. Uh, I don't know. In short periods of time, they delete all sorts of stuff, and then they they become easier for a while, maybe to let people kind of put stuff up again and then delete it all. <clears throat> Who knows? It doesn't even matter to try to make understanding of of what they do. But I will say that, I mean, the types of videos that I make today, I, and you'll even notice this with any, any sort of YouTube channel, though you'll notice people saying things like unalive and etc. YouTube ends up making these little hoops that people have to jump through. And it's not free speech, it's playing a game and knowing the no-no topics and it is a bunch of BS at the end of the day. And free speech is really hard to find on the internet. And, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't want this to be a ramble video, but it could, it, because, like, now I could talk about BitChute. It's, it's not perfect, but <clears throat> at least I, I've had issues with BitChute in the past where my videos on BitChute just wouldn't even play. So I hope that doesn't happen for Jungle Surfer. I'll, I'll always keep out, you know, people will always be able to find you, hopefully, if, if you keep trying to get your message out there, and I... I appreciate the same thing, that I have the same thing. I know that there's people out there that that will, you know, track me down and try to find me if anything does ever happen. I have a personal website, too. So, who knows? Now I'm rambling. But yeah, it, it makes me sad. And, oh, I guess I'll talk about why I think maybe it happened. I stopped talking about current events because they're just so easy to get flagged. Current event things, it's... It's very important, I think, for them to create the illusion of the news being a, a vital source of information, and they don't want they don't want other people out there getting the first say. They don't want people they want to get the first say on everything, and they want to have the first fifteen minutes to talk about something and and put their stuff out there. They don't want you watching what's happening and saying no, that's a bunch of BS as soon as it happens. That's just what I've noticed. And in, uh, I think in this person, in this case, it's political stuff. 
Jungle Surfer did a lot of political stuff. When I was looking through the the YouTube stuff, it, it was weird. The guidelines on misinformation, the top thing was talking about the census, which that's like a whole weird thing. Why? Have you noticed there's weird topics like that where it's like interfering with the census is like really high uh, punishments. And like, I wouldn't, why would YouTube even have something talking about interfering with a census? I wouldn't even think that somebody would make a video trying to even talk about that topic, let alone deceive people on that topic or misinform people. So I thought that was kind of weird. Uh, but yeah, a lot of the misinformation went down. It seemed like they could apply it to political stuff. Like if, if you're in here giving what they're going to claim is political misinformation, they're going to shut you down because they'll say that it's like interfering with the democratic process. I think that was the type of language that they were using. I don't know. I took screenshots, but I didn't, uh, include them because it was just, I don't know, it's a lot. <laughs> but you've seen that YouTubers, you have to jump through little hoops. The algorithm will drop somebody like a hot potato out of nowhere. Uh, maybe you've noticed where you'll be looking for somebody's YouTube channel and it's like you can't find it anymore. YouTube just hides it. it there was a lot of that information in this misinformation policies and looking at the YouTube content uh, creator guidelines, whatever. <clears throat> they delete all sorts of stuff, sure, but they also just hide tons of stuff on YouTube. And they were, interesting thing, they were talking about all sorts of deleting videos that had like 10 views and less. And uh, yeah, a lot of times small time, small time channels, it's really hard to get any views really. And there's censorship on that really small level. They really are afraid of just small individual people speaking their personal truth and so you have to learn to play their game and uh, not do any of the no-no things uh, but even still i mean i i've hosted videos of my friends before because she tried making her own youtube channel and they were doing weird shadow banning things to her channel like if you would try to watch one of her videos on a mobile device it would not load it would just buffer endlessly Strange, strange things like that. Well, yep, yeah, this is a ramble video about YouTube censorship type stuff. I don't even know if I have a point. My point is, I've just been shouting out a channel that is now no longer there on YouTube, and I'm sorry. Uh, and I do support this person, Jungle Surfer, and I appreciate what he did for so long on YouTube, and not many people have the balls to talk about the things that he talked about and so who knows who knows what the future holds for for youtube it could be even harder and harder to be a real person on youtube as time goes on and some some platforms are even worse i think like instagram i think is dead if you're a real individual i don't think there's any way to build anything up on that platform for instance so is youtube taking its last breath i don't know who knows I'll, I'll always keep in contact in, in ways that I can. Uh, and I, you know, I appreciate anybody willing to listen to anything I have to say in the community that has kind of formed. And, yep, that's it for this video. Let me know. What, what have you been thinking? I mean, weird. I guess I'll just throw it out there. That I've been having weird thoughts of, like, rebranding again. Like, oh, I'm getting tired of the same old thing again on YouTube. And that's, I mean, it is a big part of why, one thing, I think that the message of Jesus Christ is the most important thing, so that's why I try to keep that message. But I have tried to keep my channel focused on those types of messages too, just because it is safer, and it, it is the type of stuff that you hopefully, that we hopefully can keep talking about for a longer time on YouTube. So I guess that is another bonus of not worrying about political stuff is you can hopefully talk about that more but I, I think it is stupid of course and that the censor censorship is dumb that it's looking like we almost can't even talk about political stuff anymore on youtube because they're gonna claim that it's that you're interfering with the democratic process you can't even post your political opinion because they're they're gonna claim that that's misinformation you know who gets to decide that, how can a, a political opinion be misinformation it's crazy to me uh how can opinion be misinformation. Uh, 
kind of strange. Strange world we live in, big brother. Uh, what else? I think that's it. I don't know what else to say. And go check out Jungle Surfer on BitChute. And yeah, I, I, I do feel really bad. That sucks to lose a channel. And I understand not wanting to deal with YouTube's BS anymore. So I guess you can leave in the comment if you know any other thriving truther communities where people make videos or... I know for a while Telegram was a hot thing. I don't want to do any... I don't know. I'm I'm going to keep going on YouTube until the wheels fall off, I think, as far as I know. But I do... Personal websites are cool. I do think having a personal website is a cool way to deal with this sort of issue. That no matter what platform pushes you off, hey, at least you have some sort of home base. So I don't know if you guys know. I have a, I have a personal website, Watching for Fire, uh, Neo Cities. I'll leave a link in in the comments. God bless everyone.